assembly language tutorials chapter 11 now this is the last chapter of assembly language tutorials for windows so in this like when we talk about microsoft windows there are so many things there like our assembly program is running how does it eventually get to use the hardware so the different abstractions stuff like that we have discussed some of the concepts in previous videos the application it costs the operating system operating system costs the BIOS the BIOS actually communicates with the hardware it is also possible that the operating system could bypass the BIOS and in Windows that's exactly the case so that's how an assembly program eventually gets to run in Windows and so far in our assembly tutorials we have not seen any output all our data has remained either in the registers or the memory so in this video we will actually see some output and this is the last video of this course and I have another course uh, coming up which is advanced assembly language tutorials in Windows so in that I would talk more about different kind of uh, programming dynamic memory allocation inside the assembly program stuff like that and also we would dive into some of the other hardware aspects like device driver development along those lines so uh, in this video I will end it and end this course also with some console programming demo and this all knowledge it is sufficient to write the console programs so to enhance your skills you could right away start away with uh, project Euler.com or uh, CodeChef there are many websites so you see the problem statement there solve it and then submit the solution I personally prefer project Euler.com because there is all those circus is not involved like uploading the source file then it gets to the server compiles all those nonsense so it's not there so I would highly recommend after taking this course you do not skip to something else rather doing that you should focus more on enhancing your assembly skills if you are a PHP program and if you see a bug in the PHP code and if you have been programming PHP for five to seven years so you would get to know that like, what's the bug you could fix it so in assembly also you should be at that level when you see any software bugs could be security bugs as well could be logical bugs as well which may not be eventually mostly like security all bugs are not security bugs so you could fix them so only then uh, that can happen only when you know the language so that would be highly highly recommended like uh, right after taking this course start with project Euler solve the first five to ten problems and become competent in assembly programming you could use Windows there no need to jump to any Linux all those things I intentionally made this course using Visual Studio so that the assembly language learning is a breeze and I'm sure I uh, I couldn't make it like so much easy but I've tried to keep it as simple as possible or at least as simplex as possible based on few concepts you build something so with our knowledge can we build software I guess we can do but uh, in this video we'll restrict ourselves to just some console programming again how computer works this slide we revisit so you will notice that I have removed that BIOS thingy there so actually it's still there but the OS could bypass that as well there is something called in Windows we have this concept of .exe files and .dll files so there is a DLL inside the operating system Windows so that could actually call the hardware directly so it may not necessarily use the BIOS the console programming in Windows actually we have to deal with something called Win APIs now Win API just in our previous video we saw that we had a separate helper function and then we had a 
dot inc file we included that in our main file and we could use that we could even compile that or assemble that the other file and we could still be able to use dot inc file it's like a dependency so think of it some uh, already compiled programs exist in windows and using some other dot inc file or dot lib file you could use those functions so I will quickly show you how it looks in assembly how you could actually invoke win32 API but to interact with the console to produce some output in the console that's what we do we invoke the operating system APIs which we call win APIs now a few things you would straight away notice that while dealing with win API some of them would have A and W so what it means is a is for ASCII so you could have 0 to 255 value there and some of them would be special characters some of them would be other normal characters in the keyboard including capitals and small letters but our keyboard may not necessarily all the keyboards in the world they are not same like if you have a Russian keyboard or a Japanese keyboard there are so many characters much more than 255 we need more space to accommodate those extra all the languages not necessarily just English so we what we do is we use a Unicode so Unicode is a two byte which is word byte is one byte eight bits so word will have 16 bits or two bytes so that's maximum value 65,535 and you could accommodate all the characters in all the languages in the world so that's Unicode now let's see a demo let's see how we could do that all of our previous concepts they come into play even now also there is nothing new except the size of the code has increased a bit this is our regular prototype how you how we used to define prototype this exist process exit process is it had been there always in our all the programs so it's also one of the win to win api actually now here we are invoking a win api write console a so it's ascii because it has a now in order to interact with a console you need a handle to that like it's like a kind of identifier that hey I'm going to do I'm going to do something on the console and I have to have a control over it so your program needs to identify that console in specific way so these are the parameters so you have to you, you call that that is again a win API you call that and that value is returned in EAX because that's our accumulator register so all the procs will be using the EAX so here we invoke that we push that this is our parameter we are pushing this it will take one parameter so we want to handle we want to get a handle over output that's value is 11 minus 11 so it's signed byte so we push that and then we get the value in EAX we save it because we would need this handle to actually invoke write console a and write console a it will accept five parameters so as we know that in uh, win32 win api win32 or win64 api win64 has a different calling convention so this would be win api only win32 api so the parameters are pushed in reverse order into the stack so that's what we see so this is our handle and this is the last parameter that is pushed into the stack and you would notice that it's the actually the first one so when popping happens so push 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 so this is the when this program execution goes there so it will pop this value so it will come first so that's the point that's why we push parameters in reverse order because of the runtime stack so now here is the handle so we have that and what we are actually displaying we have a string variable which is a byte type 
and 0 d 0 a is for new line carriage feed and uh, line carriage return and line feed and we get the size of that this is our handle which is our d word and bytes return so these are some standard parameters only so we push them these are some null values so it doesn't need to have anything and this is these two things my string size and my string the offset of that the pointer to that are pushed and finally this api is called and then we will see the output and we already know this like push zero and then exit process let's run this Uh, there you have it our hello world console program I guess that's enough to give you a little taste how we could actually output something to a console so there are other possibilities also we could also have a graphical program in Windows assembly we, we using Windows assembly we could develop a graphical program as well you could do anything it's like any other programming language that we know that so uh, I would leave you guys with this all this knowledge and this little demo and right away you start off with project Euler and other website to hone your skills and how like adding to programs how to push that into I initially thought that to write such demo like adding to programs and show that in the output but I would leave you guys with that exercise to do yourself this is just a kind of a proof of concept so this is how you implement basic windows api and g uh, get some output so it's up to you to take away all this knowledge and implement your own command line programs to start with and very soon i would be making my advanced assembly language tutorials so i will catch you guys then and subscribe to this channel so that you will know when that course arrive i, I hope real soon Ask questions in the comment section and like these videos. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.